Hi, I'm Seth Rosenblatt with Get Geeked, and today we're talking with Craig Dalton, and he's going to tell us about his uh, smart VR tech. Yeah, thanks, Seth. Excited to be here at Get Geeked tonight. It's going to be a good event. Yeah, it looks like it. Absolutely. So yeah, we're excited to introduce smart VR to the world. It's a portable virtual reality headset that works with any smartphone. Listeners may have heard about virtual reality in general, but it's usually in the context of some of the home-based systems. And the, the dirty little secret of VR is that it works with virtually any smartphone out there today. So this looks like Google Cardboard. Is it sort of your version of that? Yeah, so uh, we were actually Google's first partner in the Works with Cardboard program, and we're an active member of that program today. So we produce a lot of the cardboard virtual reality headsets that you see out there in the world. Mm -hmm. Smart VR is kind of a reaction to what's next after cardboard. So it retains the Google certification, but it adds the durability of being made out of plastic and aluminum versus the cardboard material and the huge added benefit of being able to fold down and, and put in your pocket. Great. So you don't have to worry about it getting wet and dissolving. Exactly. <laughs> That's important. <laughs> Um, so tell us about how it's made and what materials you've used in uh, in making it. Yeah, exactly. So um, we wanted to build a, a tool, not a toy. So we, choo we chose a, a polycarbonate. Mm -hmm. um, it's a very durable type of plastic. We um, used an aluminum hinge here, again, because mm -hmm. it's a, a point of friction in the design. Um, it also adds some nice style elements to it. Sure. Another thing that was important to us is that we, we protect the lenses, because in any virtual reality experience, the quality of lens is essential to the experience. Uh -huh. So not only do you need to start with a great lens, but it's critical that you protect those lenses. Sure. Particularly in building a portable product, we had to go to sort of great strides to make sure both sides of the lenses were protected. Mm -hmm. So we, we actually designed this lens cover, which serves a dual purpose. The first purpose, purpose is obviously protecting the lenses, but the second purpose is actually to enhance the sense of immersion. So there are other pocket viewers out there on the market, but they're very open. So you're seeing a lot of light from both above the handset and on the uh. sides. With smart VR, the only exposed area is, is below the device. So you end up getting the most immersive pocket experience on the market. Sure, sure. And uh, how much does this sell for? It's thirty nine ninety five. Thirty nine ninety five. And you originally debuted it on uh, Kickstarter, right? It was on Indiegogo. Oh, Indiegogo, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So we we just begun shipping last month. So we fulfilled all the orders from Indiegogo, and uh -huh. now we're out uh, working with distribution partners and selling directly from DodoCase.com. Great. And uh, how how well did the kick, did the uh, Indiegogo do? I forget the exact percentage over, but we were like yeah, one hundred fifty percent of the goal. So mm -hmm. it was it was oversubscribed in the first couple days. Wow. Wow. Which was awesome. So how many of them have you shipped? We've shipped uh, about 2,500 at this wow. point. Wow. Yeah. That's a lot. So you're seeing a lot of consumer interest in uh, pocket VR. We are. Yeah. I think, uh, as I mentioned earlier, smartphone-based VR is something that's uh, under-publicized in the world. Mm -hmm. um, everybody's smartphone can, can handle VR applications. There's now thousands of hours of applications and experiences available in either the Google Play Store or the iTunes App Store. Sure. In addition to all those sort of, I'll call them professional grade applications, you're also starting to see the new wave of consumer generated content. So mm. you've got a new um, wave of consumer grade cameras that can capture 360 degree film and video, uh, photographs and video with a single click. Huh. So, so whether it's the Ricoh Theta, the Samsung Gear VR camera, right. or, or many others, you can now create your own content, send it to your friend or family, and they can experience that entire 360 immersive image uh, via a device like Smart VR. Sure, sure. So I, I've got to say, one of one of one of the things that fascinates me about this is that it seems like it's the kind of product that once you make it, it's it's sort of there. Um, how do you innovate beyond this? You know, I think the vector that we're really counting on is portability mm -hmm. being a key attribute. So. As with all things, we'll get thinner, lighter, more portable. We'll look sure. at slightly different form factors. But we really believe we've got a product that the market is waiting to catch up to. Huh. We purposely built Smart VR to accommodate any smartphone mm -hmm. because we wanted our customers to be confident that this is future proof. Mm -hmm. So if you buy it this holiday season and you upgrade to a new phone next year, uh, iOS or Android, it's going to work in smart VR. Right. So we'll continue playing around with the materials, but I, I really do think we have a winner that is just uh, the challenge is getting the word out there, having people have their first experiences. Because as, as you may know, most people, when they have their first VR experience, 
they get what's called the VR smile. And as soon as you convince them to move past their, their immediate line of sight uh -huh. and turn their head, they're incredulous that with this, the phone in their pocket and a $40 device, they can be in an entire 360 universe. Are there any apps that you recommend people who haven't tried it, smartphone VR to sort of jump in with? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I like the Within app uh -huh. because it's got a carousel of content that's associated with it. Within's done a lot of work for New York Times VR that also has their own standalone app. Uh -huh. For news geeks, uh, USA Today has a great app called huh. Virtually There, which they pump a lot of content into. Then there's sort of genre-specific stuff. Um, if you're into horror, there's a great app called 1157 and uh, another one called Sisters, which will, when you turn your head, there's always something behind you scaring you, which <laughs> gets your heart going. That's great. Um, if there's one thing that people don't know about smart VR that they should know, w what do you think that is? We source our lenses from a Google-certified vendor mm -hmm. that tests every lens for quality. So wow. we've really assured that the, the optical experience in smart VR is premium. And I think that's it's sort of an underrated feature mm -hmm. of the sort of cardboard ecosystem in general, just the quality of lenses and how important that is to the experience. Sure. Well, Craig, thank you very much. Yeah, you're welcome. Thanks All for right. having me. Yeah, thanks for coming on. Cheers.